Ah, hello, Fuzzbo. How's it going? Good to see you. Alright, so... <clears throat> All the distractions are now cleared, at least for this month. Except for the other Iron Man, but I can't do that until Mutt and Dragonfly do their runs, as I came last last month. It is finally time to get back to my request list. No more demons of camels, no more um, Sunder, no more Iron Mans for a bit. Requests! The quest list returns with a vengeance, but alas, not much in the way of custom graphics. So this should be an interesting one. So, this is Demon Fear, as requested by MD Menzel, or Mike Menzel, since this was. And he goes by on YouTube. Also, thanks to Fuzzball Renekitty once again for the graphic in the lower right corner, which she came up with in the last few minutes. But it looks pretty good, especially since, you know, this what has no custom graphics. So, uh, Mike Menzel mentions on the YouTube video of the request list thingy with Bob. He mentions Demon Fear, and a link to Demon Fear. Short late 90s style. I recall your coffee break streams and I want to see how you rate an early bite sized maps megawad from a relatively active mapper of the time. Well, relatively active mapper is right for Demon Fear comes from none other than Adam Windsor, aka Capellan, who is still around today. And now I know he's Australian, thanks to this. So, as you know, C C Capella and Adam Windsor contributed to Mental Mori 2, which I played a map of recently, Strain, and Requiem. Quite a few maps in Requiem, in fact. So, yeah. And this came out in 2000, so... Uh, cusp of the, the millennium itself. There it is. Bam! Demon Fear. And what can we do is a text file containing short level descriptions. Uh, he also wants to thank a bunch of creators of various tools. Id, Chris Best for playtesting. And special thanks to Bill McClendon for his comments and suggestions during the creation of Demon Fear. And he also mentioned in the description that the basic ethic behind the design is simple. I aim to provide 32 short, sharp shocks for Doom 2 that were both highly playable and visually impressive. I hope I've succeeded. We shall see. So I do have uh, a list, a map name list, to call upon for the rest of this one. There are some interesting names in there. So this sounds like it's going to be a quite a short one, actually. I didn't realize. But well, that's fine. I'm happy to play something relatively shortish, I suppose. We will see. So, yeah, the request list has returned. MD Menzel is getting his chance to have his request played. Yay. <laughs> awesome and stuff. Right, so, the first thing we're going to do is undo our compatibility from. The iron camel thing I did just earlier, and then I'm gonna play the one. So here we go. This is Demon Fear. A secret is already revealed. Wow, it's a great start. First level, we already have a secret, <laughs> and no custom map names, unfortunately. In fact, in the file was well. I guess we're gonna be. I guess it's the newer music all the way. So level one is called Wolves in the Kitchen. Somehow the demons have captured the base where you are stationed. Fortunately, your key lock door has protected you so far. Grabbing the shotgun and flak fest every smart marine keeps in his bedroom, you head out. You know the space well, full map at startup. Maybe you can get the armory key, grab some real firepower and escape. Ah, so that's why you get the full map at the beginning. Sector 38 has no lines, by the way. 
in case you want to go back and fix that after 18 years, <laughs> apparently. So, he doesn't give you the auto map, but you have it anyway? Hmm, it's an interesting way to start a map, I have to admit. Hey, Old Misfit, how's it going? Not so impressive, perhaps, as the fact that the shotgun and arm uh, conveniently, awkwardly shoved into a wooden closet. I guess, but kind of cool if I would explain why you get the map at the start, at least. Something. Well, here we are, Demon Fear. Does that mean all the booms have the same thing in it? No, just this one. Just the one I was in, conveniently. What a shame, it would have been nice to have grabbed, like, several extra shotguns. But, alas. How are you doing, Ward Misfit? Working on Project Ethereus. So it's like a kitchen or something. I guess I did something. Huh, Monster Bot Wise. Oh, that opened all the doors. Okay. Except that one. That one's not opening for shit. Oh, is it out here? <laughs> okay. Firing range? Still one enemy left. We got the chain gun and the rocket launcher. We've only just begun. Alright, I'm gonna this one. Demon Fear! Rawr. So, yeah, are you working on Project Ethereus then? Why do I hear an enemy? I'm get traps. Oh, foilers. Alright, what? Like that. Uh, I don't know about those battles necessarily. And thank you for the other host, Dragonfly. How's it going? To anyone watching it by a Dragonfly, anyway. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're done. It's time to leave the base and step out. Oh my god, we're based on the edge of an island. Holy shit. And be running to it. Yeah, pizza. Hmm. Probably good. Hey, Hank. Seven one seven. How's it going? Vine Joe Midi. Yes, indeed. The best of midis. Five CDs came today, and nineteen more to go till the first ball collection is a little more completed. In like thirty years, first ball, you're going to end up being one of those people that's selling off CDs at a car sale or something. You know. While all the kids are listening to the hyper holographics technology glued to the iPhone 24s with VR tech, you'll be doing some old fashioned boot sale selling Rush CDs to people. 
don't know why I mentioned a completely random image of the future there. Mind you, in, mind you, in 30 years' time, I'll be the guy at boot sale looking for said CDs and classic video game discs, so... You'll get plenty of business from me. Some won't come until the end of the month. Alright, cool. So this is the first map. It's actually kind of an interesting novelty that we start the first map with um, a full map reveal, followed by... Um, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Without getting the computer map, just have the full map revealed like that. It's kind of an interesting quirk. Will there be some more to cover? We shall see. Onwards with the next level, which also is a name. So there go to my text file. Okay, this one is called the Colonel's Car. You make a beeline for the house of Colonel Adrian Nash, United States Marine Corps. Tired. The house has probably been overrun, but the colonel's car is probably still in the garage. You can use it to reach human lines. Now, why would you go to a retired colonel's car specifically? I don't get it. Well, anyway, that's what we're doing. We go to the bloody colonel's house. I can hardly see anything. I guess day I guess time has passed since we attempted to I think I've played this. Oh my god, it's a hell knight. Well, I've almost... Wow. That's every enemy of the level killed, and I didn't even step inside the house yet. <laughs> In the house first. Into the storage. Oh, nice, a white switch for the house. How pleasant. I was the colonel, where would I keep my nice bed? <laughs> I think it's one of the Century Bound with Complex did years ago. Oh wow. Keeps a super shotgun in his room. Or oh, perhaps that was meant to be the colonel himself. Freshly gibbed or something. And there's one secret. Somewhere. Hmm. I wonder where it might be. Well, I guess we can go find the car now. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> the car. It's said to be the car. <laughs> Oh, I didn't I didn't know the colonel went around in a friggin' 60s science fiction tank prop. <laughs> oh god. Hey up, okay, how's it going man? You join us for map two of Demon Veer. Apparently it's meant to be a very short experience. I'm just laughing at the fact this is meant to represent a car. Come on, you could have done a little better than this. <laughs> Unless, I'm wish you're saying the colonel drives around in a freaking tank, in this mini tank in his house. It's not something you'd see in Command and Conquer, you know. 
This is a house or a factory for metal words. Tank is ready. <laughs> so that was the Colonel's car. Do ignore the generic map names. They, there are map names. How Doom Guy gets the Plutonia jungles. Oh, no Plutonia here. Just, just cars. Not like tanks. Ah, shit. Alright, this is getting gas. The Colonel may have kept his car in good running order, but he wasn't too good at keeping it filled with fuel. You're out of fuel, forced to walk half a mile back up the road to a deserted fuel station. Or maybe it isn't deserted at all. Oh no, revenant. Archvale? Oh Jesus Christ! We have the super shotgun already. Oh war, this is hectic. Welcome to the gas station from hell. Ow. Yes. I cannot vouch this being the friendliest gas station I've ever been to. to move around the map more in the first place. There'll be a play testing stream soon. Um. Oh, I could have gone better. Um, play testing. I don't really know, Doom Mother. I mean, my play testing streams are now just kind of the spur of the moment in some cases. <laughs> So, uh... Wow. Where we... Okay. We teleported to go up the steps, apparently. Simplify a transition in the level. Yeah. Well, I guess this was before we had. I'm sure we could have had room to have put that inside the. Oh, whatever. That is a secret, apparently. <laughs> you can actually see the wood text that's being used to 
This is a very strange effort, you know. You can see the wood that's supposed to be like the, the road, and then the ceiling is a mud flat. A glowing mud flat at that. <laughs> this is a strange ceiling choice. I could actually try to do something with the lighting. So. I wonder how old Capellan was at the time of making this map set. Well, maybe it'll show up and we can get some answers. Anyway, that's the map. But now, um. I know that. I uh, uh, love doing playtesting stuff, but. I am trying to focus on my request list as much as possible. <sighs> Which is really hard to do when interesting projects keep coming out. I mean, I've already been told by Antares to not play Struggle because the request list is more important, but I am going to have to play Doom the Gone Souls 2 when it comes out later this month because it's Doom the Gone Souls 2 and I've been waiting for that for like a year plus. So. Also, you know, there's also the fact that I don't have infinite amount of time. I mean, I have a lot of time now because I'm not working. But next week I am going back to work and it's going to be quite a busy term. And a very soul-draining one in prospect. So my streams might not be as frequent. That's the big problem I have with this channel in terms of things. My consistency is not great. So, I can't really say if it'll ever be a PlayStation stream, but I don't know, Doom Mother 234. I'm guessing there's something you want me to play test. Say that. Anyway, I'm four. Oh, I could make a card joke there, but I won't. So, this is Transport Nexus, sponsored by Ford Focus. Your car has carried you to the State Transport Nexus, where you can find a teleporter capable of taking you to any location within 30 with 30 within with 30 miles. Of course, such an important base could not already have fallen to the demons, can it? State Transport Nexus. Is it like toll booths of the future or some shit? I do like how the outpouring of demons is happening around this. Hello, Dynamic Kitty Yo Yo. How's it going? Good to see you again. Yeah, this just remind me a little bit of the start of the Mental Mono map or two, or even that one map in TNT. It wasn't a map in TNT, it was a map in Memento Mori, the... No wait, it was a map in TNT, the... One with the many hits scanners, and I forget its name. Invisible... Soul... Visible thing holding up the soul spear. Curse of magic. So it's so, so busy, sweet. I want to ask that you play Verse Hopper. Your request for the number of projects are most important.
Yeah, I'm afraid so, but okay. <laughs> That's it. Bam, no secret. Douche. myself out of a secret then. I don't trust you though. I don't trust you at all. Yeah, this is called Demon Fear Dynamic. Uh, this came out in 2000 by a, a prominent mapper back then who's still around today called uh, Adam Windsor. Who's still around today? One of the very few uh, 90s mappers who still hangs around the Doom community. Not a lot of those around. You know, people back in the 90s who still map and hang around Doom and shit. Kind of a, a rarity. You know, the only other ones I can think of at the top of my head are Steve D, who's a regular to this, who appears in his stream chat sometimes. Um, And no, that's really about it, actually. To my knowledge, there's not a lot of '90s mappers who are still around today mapping in Doom. A lot of them kind of made some maps, then they grew up and stopped making stuff, or moved on to other things. It is unique, just like this map set. What the cars? When did you get into the Doom scene, Sweep? Was it in 2011, 2012? I got into scene in 2013. Um, in terms of doing stuff for Doom World, I started in 2013, really. Uh, I guess before that, I spent a couple of years on and off playing Zaydemon under the alias of Sweepy, but I didn't... Um, I didn't actually really do anything, I just played a bunch of multiplayer maps here and there and didn't really interact with anything. It was only in 2013 when I started interacting with Doom World and discovering there was a community for Doom Wars. I was like, oh shit, I need to get on this. Uh, in 2013, I think. It might have been slightly earlier, but I know one of the first contributions I did was to play the Doom World Mega Project. Which is why I played Father Beams, which is still my first ever streams. Which you can still... 2008? You can't be right. Did I have joined in 2008? Oh, you joined in 2008. Oh. That's not right. Let me just go to Doom World real quick. I'm sure I joined in 2013. I'm sure of it. That oh, doesn't actually say anymore. Yeah, I joined on March the 29th, 2013. That was when I first joined Doom World, so. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I joined just to try to spate in the Doom World, in the, uh, Doom World Megawatt Club, sorry. That was the first thing that I participated in back then, so... Yeah, it's this, this map set's supposed to be a bunch of short maps, Dynamic Kitty. It's similar to, it seems to have a similar vibe to, like, Petition's Gate or TVR, if you're familiar with those mods at all. I didn't work or anything. I mean, in 2000, in the, I discovered the internet in the noughties, and I spent a lot of time playing online shit. I became a streamer in 2009, and then I started wanting to play Doom Wads as a side project, and this is what, this channel was actually originally a side project for streaming Doom Wads, while on my main channel I did other stuff. And then, funnily enough, it's now become the other way around. This has become my main priority, and the community site has become the side project, as it were. 
Ah, it was fine to reminisce. Might be time to play a map though, John. Good idea. Let's play a map instead of talking about shit. Alright, this is the communication base. Oh, well, sorry, it's just called communication base. Your teleport destination. Communications base 42. Activate the communications gear here and you can warn the country about the demon or so. You live well, get off. I do like these charming little stories. I'm not familiar with any wards. Do you only play doing one and two and go do maps? Oh gosh, Dominic. You've got a world of enjoyment to look forward to. Yeah, you've got a lot of shit to do, man. I mean, I've been streaming Doom once for five years, and I still haven't even scratched the tip of the iceberg yet. Although I have played a lot of more notable entries. But I've also missed a lot of other notable entries. For example, I haven't played the Community Chess series, I haven't played Speed of Doom, I haven't played Elreveal 2. Which doesn't count. I haven't played um, I haven't played Mark Two. Yeah, there you go. That's something. That's a thing. Oh, scary barracks. Scary Baron all cooped up like that. <sighs> Small spell I was ambushed. Oh no, my Baron. What's he gonna do? Oh shit, he's gonna come out and attack me. Oh god, another Baron. Another one. And you're dead. Jokes. That would be slightly greedy there, I think. This map set has a distinct charm. Well, it just makes me think of someone just making a bunch of... I don't know. Like, it's kind of interesting to think that this guy, like... Oh. There was a key card in the pool? Yeah, the story for me is the thing here. It's like, there's a story to this. Oh god, there's another enemy left to kill. Alright, we're done here. I guess. Yeah, right, this guy worked on some pretty good stuff back in the day. You know, and then he made this. His own, which I imagine may have been his first uh, solo project. Yeah, I imagine so. It came out in 2000, so I don't see why it wouldn't be a... Uh, vanilla ward. Absolutely. You can look up for yourself. But yeah, as I kind of charm, like, this is this is his chance to make his own little creation, and so he makes a story up. I mean, it seems like in the 90s, because of the lack of custom textures, or 
fancy fancy techniques. It feels like, you know, nowadays when people make a wad, they can tell the story via the wad itself in some cases. You know, you can have people like, um... You know, you can use fancy textures to create your own atmosphere. You can uh, use scripting to have text bubbles appear or set custom HUDs. But back then, you know, people had to tell a story in the text file. And then the level design did the rest of the work, I guess. So. Uh, thank you for the auto host, Mr. Zool. You may have used the vanilla trick to make deep water. So, you know, what's like this, that the story pretty much tells you all we need to know. So yeah, here's a story. You spawn, go kill. Pretty groundbreaking for Doom, huh? Yes, Corn King. Very groundbreaking. It never been done before. Also, oh well. How are you doing? Okay, that was a cool map. Although some of these maps kind of feel like my other house ward, but whatever. He wanted to make short levels and so far he is succeeding. So this is the ammo dump. According to Central Command, there's an ammo storage base near your position. You expect it has been overrun, but it's almost certain there'll be plenty of firepower available for you to grab. weapons left to give me so I look forward to receiving the ammo dumps dump I guess oh meanwhile in map one Feels like a something just different map. Yeah. Working slaves worked for Camel's community project. Hard to work on boom for one name so what I've worked using method as possible to do. Oh, you're making a map for dying camels demons too. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, there's two barons in the way. Oh no, not the barons. I was gonna sell the hit fight, but Gotta get creative. <laughs> what the big you have? Yeah, it's a start. Start corn king, go from there. Maybe you can have the whole level be about four. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, at this point, it becomes a button that needs some kind of a key card. But where do I get the key card? What on earth did you even show up from? Oh, 
Okay, that's you know the enemy's killing the level. Well, a lot of mappers when they start out corn king do learn in boom format. If you are struggling, you could perhaps ask Pinchy Scree for a bit of help. All right, cool. Oh, that's the end of the level. Great. Doesn't feel like a wad worth saving is really needed too much. Now, I had a secret. Uh, I put said secret. Oh, I seem to have found it. And there it is. Random secret of the ball. That was the ammo dump. Hooray. <laughs> Without we much. I'll have to agree with Fuzz there. GZ, I am the I am a big uh, uh, promoter of Z Doom and GZ Doom mappers, but. Boom is where you earn the basics. You know, my first, my first and only map I ever worked with was Boom. You know, gotta make good gameplay. Fancy shiny Zadoom stuff can come after. Also, what Fuzz said. <laughs> yeah. Don't think I'll be playing any more of the Dying Camels, Demons stuff in the future. I've played the first one. The project designed for Dying Camel mainly, so... I'll leave it to be appreciated by him. <laughs> Don't you start crying, Benjo Garmy. I got a request list to do. I have to cut down on things. As much as possible. Played the first one. I'm happy enough to say I don't have to bob with any more necessarily. I really didn't like a few maps. Yeah. Okay, it's a dead simple map slot. Will we get a dead simple knockoff? Will we get custom text? Might as well use the custom text of this text file to replace this. All right, that's it. Out, Zool, out. Leave this place and don't come back. Curse that abominable shark for requesting that one in the first place. Okay, so map seven is called The Wall. Looks like the demons were expecting you. A major obstruction bars your way. Time to see if you've got what it takes to mix it up with demons who are plagued for keeps. UDMF is... Well, I suppose UDMF works as well. Yeah. I guess UDMF would probably alright. It's just... I was just... Why do I recommend that Boom is the place to start? Yeah... Experiencing Nirvana is on there as well. <coughs> I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not, Mrs. Or uh... Alright, this is the wall. No one on earth can make it fall. Oh no! The wall! What the fuck? Ha <laughs> ha. 
I should play it first, so I was hoping that would be a massive disappointment. Gee, Willikers. A fair amount of Barons. God. Side. I really hope not. Yeah, those helmets can stay. Oh god, they can't creep in. They want to. Right, I'm afraid, boys, you must go. The shapes. Every single sector is an egg. Well, what's the deadline for the budget, Gone King? You have plenty. Of, I imagine it's like ended up month or something like that. You have a bit of time then to think of something. Just keep coming out with ideas, Corn King. Oh dear. Which don't involve falling off wedges. Steal content from other maps. That's what a lot of people do, though, Gorn King. They take the content and then they sort of modify it to their own whim. That's how a lot of things get done. Two secrets apparently on this level. Hmm. Oh, oh well. That's one. I bet there's one on either side. Yep. That might have been useful before. Alright, well, it wasn't a dead simple map, it was... Two, four... What a weird... He had four barons and two hell knights. Not the other way round. What a, what a very strange... Oh, no, this map had. Very strange. It's in the dark, but I'm 8% sure it's August. Nah, I really do. <laughs> but I really do want to focus on my request list, and I'm already going to be distracted when Doom the Golden Souls 2 comes out on the 28th, which I will be playing. So my, my, my aim is to try and be as minimally distracted as possible for the rest of this year. Because most people want me to work on the request list, and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> which is why I spent the last three or four streams playing Sunder, Dying Camels, Demons, and Nightmare. <laughs> I, I don't recall you making a request for us. Or did you? Actually, you might have done. Uh, what the hell did you request then? Alt. Requested Alt? I only played Alt. <laughs> 
Oh, maybe that was you from a while ago. Alright, well, it's the wall. It wasn't a dead simple map, so that's one bonus for many people. This also looks like a wall, but actually this is the hatred. You're past the wall, but you're not past the demons. Fight your way through this infestation, and you might be able to blaze a path that others can follow. The hatred. Oh god, that's a lot of things. Dexter Ward. I wonder if it's slightly inspired by the start of E4M2. Oh, this is going to be awkward. We've got a fucking... No! More balance! Ugh. Please don't jump. Bam. What is that? Ah, oh, I probably should have used the fucking chain gun. Oh, okay, all the enemies are dead. Never mind. Secrets. Not secrets. I've already found the secret, so I don't have to even have to bother. That look. What do we have here? Hello everyone, I'm new to the site. I worried the very nice one for G Zoom and G Z Zoom and it's based on Showtime's Dexter series. You play Dexter. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh dear. Sounds pretty hectic, whatever it is. Oh, I've completed four achievements. The Empire Business and Fleet... What? I, I just gained some achievements, apparently. Oh, recently completed. Stream for 250 hours total. Wow. 250 hours. Oh, shit. I've actually got two out of... <laughs> I've not seen this before. And apparently I have two out of three of the check marks required for being a partner as well. The only one I lack is having 75 viewers over 30 days, which is... Well... Whatever. I don't care about that. Yeah, I could just tell that guy was a massive troll. I was looking at the thread. After it. The fact that the first post had no description, no link to the thread or anything. <laughs> I've streamed for far more than 250 hours, Gone King. That's 250 hours since the achievements were introduced. I've done way more than that. I've put 500 hours into Killing Floor 1 and another 500 in Killing Floor 2. And there'll be a lot more because it's going to get a big update soon. Alright then, Embarque, I shall see you later. Have a good evening. 1.4 hours, but not into it. Nope.
Absolutely not. I'm not really going to bother about being a partner. I'm happy with affiliation at this moment in time. I get a partner requirements pretty comfortably if I was more consistent anyway. Anyway, else the hatred. Seems like uh, Capellan isn't afraid to chuck in some beefy monsters, even this early on. Alright, this is the bridge. Can you drag your battered body into combat once again? If you can cross the bridge, you'll be at the doors of... Well, he doesn't tell us what will be at the doors of, so I guess we'll have to figure it out. Oh well. You're scary. Ow! Awkward steps that you can't just jump down. Like, bump, 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 bump. I think you might be right. Awkward steps. It is, like, you can't just run down these steps. You're like, oof, 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 oof. I can't afford your awkward steps, Capellan. I need to get down them quickly. Yeah, that's all the enemies killed. Hmm. A monster thingy hole. How very slightly subtle that is. What do they call it? The hole it sound hole. That's what they are, aren't they? Sound holes. What monsters uh, get sound in? Shit. Oh. Can't find this other secret. I'm so bad. So bad. Oh well. The secret will just have to remain a secret. And nothing else but a secret. <laughs> so that was that. I suppose at this point I should probably actually talk about what I was going to mention earlier regarding my last tweet uh, before the 
well, the last week before I did the um, announcement for this stream and the previous one, which was the comment by uh, Ultima Mantoid, which I received last night when I came back from Poker. Just a thing. But this map first, I suppose. So this is the Shuttle Bay. Dynamic forces have overrun the human outpost in space. If you can fight your way through to the launch pad, you might be able to commandeer a shuttle and head out to liberate the space station. But if we can cross the bridge, you'll be at the doors of the shuttle bay. Oh. Not hell, the shuttle bay, apparently. Oh, that's it. Um, where is it? I need to bring up the tweet, actually. Might make a little more sense with the tweet. There we go. And. Okay. Bam. There we go. That's what I want. Perfect. Alright, so. Um, yeah, that's a tweet I made earlier today after reading the comments of Out of the Mantoid. He sent me last night. And. We have since taught that. He has, he has since confirmed he was a little grumpy when he um, made that response and saw it first time but whatever the point is is that i stand by what i've said in that tweet d a okay sure whatever. um so basically what i realized after reading that kind of thing regardless of, of you know Whatever mood and to Ultima was in when he first saw my way through of that's all locked. And a bear fall up red arrow. You know. So, regardless of the fact whether, or, you know, regardless of the fact that Ultimate the way to city was a bit grouchy that, that day and it wasn't good news, it still made a rather compelling point, really. You know, imagine if you're one of the things, you know, one of the things I want to most promote in. Um, the Doom community and just in general, one of the goals that I have as a streamer playing this type of stuff is... Oh, it's meant to be the rocket pack. Cool. Ow! Fucking Baron, you are gonna pay for that. Oh yes. You know, I, I've always been interested in promoting, you know, new mappers to do. You know, I, I want to really encourage. Oh, the magically appearing. I've missed something here, so I'm gonna not finish the map of shit. Um Alright. You know, I've I want I want to encourage new mappers to well make maps and stuff. Which I'm sure you've seen, I'm sure some of you who have watched me for a while have seen, you know, with my old playtesting streams and 
so forth, you know, the enthusiasm I used to have for discovering new uh, streamers to um, to watch, you know. You know, I, I do try to encourage new mappers to make stuff. I, I do look forward to seeing a new um, faces and mappers coming up and coming, you know, doing things. So, imagine if you will, you know, you're a new mapper and you've put a lot of effort into your map, and then the first thing you hear from the person playing your map, you know, someone who, I don't know, has a fair audience with him, is that they're swearing at your map and they are calling you to fuck off at the end, you know. I mean, I know that some of you know what I'm like with my weird rage and shit like that, right? But it doesn't excuse the fact people will, some people will end up perceiving it that way. Which is what it looks like, you know. I mean, when I look back at my... Some of the past things I've said, you know. I know that a lot of you, like... I've seen me in the past where I've, like, called out a map and then I realise that it's not too bad after knowing what to do. I get frustrated very easily. But it doesn't excuse the fact that to a new mapper, you know, they see this, they might be thinking that the map's terrible, or it really discourages them, you know. And even though, like, Ultima later on wasn't discouraged, he is going to make another map. Although it took a lot of him to make that one. That was his first published map. He put a lot of time and effort into that, you know. And then for me to come along and just, you know, act like that because I was mainly frustrated at the previous map, you know, the um, map, Dubs' map, you know, it, it's no excuse for me to be saying stuff like that, you know. And I, I just really realised how poor my frustration was getting at that point, you know, when I am being perceived, when I'm discouraging a, a new mapper from some honest feedback, you know, constructive criticism, fine. Getting frustrated at a map, fine. Swearing and calling the mapper names and really not being pleased at them for no real reason. Not really cool. I mean, it's like some of my past actions are almost quite embarrassing, really, especially when I yell off at a, a mapper and then it turns out I was in the wrong, you know. And that just cannot really continue. If I want to be this encourager of people making Doom maps, I cannot go into someone who chooses to create a, a really hard map or a challenging map or has put a lot of effort into a map and then get into one of my moods and and say really regretful things about it, you know. I find your feedback from my first one on the right, the left, right, with the rage, so there is that. Well, I kind of strangely liked some parts of it, you know, and it also helped you avert the time, I think in that regard. Um, but it made me realise just how my actions are like... And this has been a problem I've had, and I know this goes back to the old problem of I rage too much. Well, I'm not saying it's a problem of raging at things. I'm never going to be able to cut that out. But what I can do is, you know, realise that sometimes when I am playing someone's map and they are a new face, and they do choose to make a harder map, you know, I shouldn't always be jumping the gun on them and saying, like, daft things when really, you know, with a calm head, I can appreciate it. You know, saying stuff like, you know, this doesn't belong on this kind of project. You know, why the hell would I say that? It's not my project. It was designed for Dying Camel. I, I don't know why I say some of the things I do sometimes. You know, 
And regardless of that, as I've dubbed it, the autistic rage and shit, it's no excuse for me just putting off a new mapper like that. I mean, granted, Ultramantoid hasn't decided to quit mapping and it's going to make something else, thankfully. But imagine if that was someone who wasn't in the community. Imagine if that was a genuine new person, you know. Like, someone who joined Doom today, and they said, Hey, I've heard of this John Sweet Pea fellow. Apparently he plays maps occasionally, so I should send him the map. And then he, I, he sends me the map, he or she. All right. um, and then I play it, and then I get really upset at the map, and I call them out, and I call them names. I mean, without having known what I'm like generally, the perception is going to be terrible. You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be rightfully, and I, and, and just, I mentioned it, rightfully seen as an asshole who basically is like, oh, he found it too hard and he called me a dick. But then he might be like, I'm really terrible at this. I should never make another Doom map again. You know, and then they might not make any more Doom shit and then they'll leave. And then it's all my fault for I put them off. You know, I mean, if they make a terrible map, I should tell them they've made a terrible map. But if I'm getting frustrated at a map, you know, like frustrated, angry, because I can't beat it, because I don't know what to do, because I'm kicking my ass, because I'm forced to play in a higher skill level, and sometimes I am willing to immediately jump into, you know, I'm not as good as people like Zoo or Loveless or Emily or Anna Gloon or Crypto or Demon or, or many others, you know. I mean, for those who know me, you know where my serious critique lies and where I'm just reacting. But someone who doesn't know me and is new will not know that. Oh, yeah, yes, exactly. You know, imagine you made a map. It, it doesn't excuse my, what some of the stupid shit I come out with, honestly. I know this is in the middle of a request list, Ward, but to be honest with you, if I had four hours to spare, I have a feeling I could beat this in about three. <laughs> so I'm taking my time with it a little bit on purpose to enjoy it and also try and pick stuff out. But I I've wanted to mention this ever since I saw it. It was like a wake-up call, you know. This is what people perceive your stupid, ragey shit as. As, you know, I do say stupid shit sometimes, and that that's going to happen and, and I have to rightfully deal with the the feedback of that but when i'm putting off when i could be potentially putting off a new mapper that is when i'm thinking that's not really good you know how can i be this respectful member of the doom community when i tell people to fuck off because i'm having a bad day at the office that's just bad poor form really you know it, it, it may, i need to cut that shit out you know Telling people like I'm some kind of fucking doom authority. You shouldn't do this this way. You know. It's just a really bad trait I have, unfortunately. Stubbornness. Ignorance. It's the same kind of bullshit my ex-father had. and Something I don't want to turn into. And it was like a wake-up call of seeing that in my message last night, you know. I was half drunk, but I still I saw it with a frightening clarity. You know. I need to be told, basically, when I'm saying ridiculous shit so that I can realize and try to improve in the future. Anyway, the point of all this is to mention that I'm aware of that and I'm going to try not to be a soul like a douchebag, like an asshole. I mean, it's going to be hard, but I must try to be reasonable in my critique, in my critique, you know, or, you know, just admit when I'm struggling or try not to let that, I don't know, just, just, just reflect in some way that at the moment I am not happy because I'm struggling with the map, but that's not necessarily a critique of the map and other people in the chat will say things. Yeah, I hope you get the gist of what I'm trying to say there. I just thought I had to mention that, you know. I'm going to try, even with the harder maps. I can beat some of these harder maps. I just need to find a way to overcome the upset and get back to being calm and not put off new mappers. Because I genuinely do want to be seen as, like, the next sort of King Dime 
or like a Tarnsman type figure, you know, as someone who helps encourage Doom mappers and other people to make cool shit. That's what I want to do, you know. That's it's a goal that goes beyond financial affiliation. But it's hard for me to not be frustrated at things, unfortunately. But that doesn't excuse it either. I mean, this could apply to my general attitude towards gameplay, but in this specific instance, it's applying to putting off new mappers. And I'm very grateful that Ultimate Man Toy did not actually quit making maps. I mean, but someone else might not have done and and it needs to be a next time. So I need to make it more clear from now on when I am genuinely upset or frustrated and therefore like my words coming out of my mouth aren't going to be logical and something like that when you game to man i wish i knew if i could figure out like tomorrow the solution for playing the hardest maps or difficult shit and not raging then i'd probably be like a billionaire because <laughs> i'm sure a lot of streamers like me would like to not do that too Anyway, that's the end of the uh, serious section of this stream. I thought I just wanted to mention that. Apologies for those watching on YouTube, but at least you can skip ahead like X amount of minutes. Okay, this is Space Station. We've made it to space. The demons control several space stations, including this one. Station K equipped with 14 high yield nuclear missiles. You must find and disable the firing mechanism to prevent the demons from ever using the missiles. You was brought with the Iron Hand of NES developers, so I'm not difficulty in this game conveys me. I get frustrated being lost in every two months, 28 for two hours. Unfortunately, Pinchy, I've always been a bit of a. You know, I difficulty in me have not been the best of friends. I mean, even back. I used to have a NES in the 1990. I also have a Game Genie. I handle difficulty very, very poorly. Hello, Joes. How's it going? Whoa. Decent-looking space station, I guess. Okay. Get Ow! 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 I am really. I don't know why. I must have some kind of sunburn from yesterday or something. Shouldn't be. I can't get days, but it's simple as if I got maybe starting an entire game from the beginning again. Yeah, I just have a really poor attitude to difficulty, unfortunately. I always have. Well, I kid you not, I did used to have a Game Genie. I, mean, I used to have a NES and shit. And I, I don't think I really beat that many games back then. In fact, I think one of the first games I can ever remember properly beating was Mystic Quest Legend on the SNES. This was a basically Final Fantasy for babies. It was still good though. Maybe Final Fantasy for babies, it was pretty fucking good shit. So things from allergies. Oh man. Got A fever or something, Jaws? My mum suffers from that too. I don't think I do, but she's half convinced I do. Have it. I don't. Alright then, did I make kitty yo yo? No problem, I try my best to be real and honest, you know. I don't want to depress everybody, but honestly, some of the stuff I say, and I'm not surprised people get depressed. Yeah, I, 
I, I have sort of the same with competitive. That's why I don't play competitive multiplayer games anymore. That I don't have the time to practice them. Which is the main part of playing competitive multiplayer games is you gotta practice them. And stuff. Oh, that's the end of the... Oh, that's the end of the level. I'll well try and grab as many powers for the next one. To be honest with you, I have a feeling if I had, if I had a bit more free time, I could probably beat this in one sitting, but... Yeah, I don't want to rush this. Now, but... I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to be giving thoughts on these levels. Well, these really do just feel like very short TBR-esque levels. But, like, in 2000, and instead of, like, 2000 and whatever year TBR came out, you know. I'm trying to find this bloody secret now. The cod rage was real a few years ago. Ooh, hello. Oh, I found something. Oh. I thought I'd found it. Lost it, I think. I used to not really be affected, but... Then was about to hit me hard. Oh, fair enough. There must be some. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, found the secret. <laughs> found it. Gotcha, secret. Alright then, bemused. Have fun walking A and Mutt around the woods for a few hours. See you later. <laughs> You only still do large play account ones and so terror, forget the win. <laughs> I used to enjoy competitive multiplayer as uh, about four years ago, in fact. I played Point Side 2 and had a blast. But I think what has happened to me is that over time, you know, when I was in my 20s, I had a fair amount of time to stream games and play games, but now I'm like 32. And trying to actually do shit in my life. I have to... I've had to come to a lot of realizations in the past year and a half, really. You know. As much as I'd like to play MMORPGs, I get bored of them when I get to the level cap. And also, MMORPGs have really grindy finales with dungeon grinding, which you don't enjoy. Also that, and I was terrible at the PvP. You know, so I stopped playing MMOs, really. Even though I kind of like the idea of an MMO, I, um, I get bored of them. So I stopped playing those. Although I get tempted occasionally with stuff like Elder Scrolls Online and stuff. If I had more free time, I'd probably play an MMO, but it would only be to play with friends. And I'd, I'd, I'd prefer not to. And then, like, last year it was like, Around summer last year, it was like I should stop playing competitive games, really, because I suck at them. And the idea of competitive games that you're supposed to practice and get better at them, but I don't have the time to practice, and I can't play casually in them either, because you know the last game I tried to really get into in that guard was well known as Battlegrounds, which is. Oh, Friggin' piece of shit of a game. But there was a whole idea that I, I I enjoy stuff like that, but with you know, I tried it with Counter Strike as well. Counter Strike Global Offensive and uh What was the other one I gave a shot at? No, I forget. I even tried to play Counter Strike for a bit and I just couldn't get into it. You know. With games like that, you have to practice and keep playing and enjoy the practicing, but I didn't have the time to commit to it. And I couldn't play it casually and just be like a complete idiot. 
Now, I suppose there is like a Call of Duty type games or Battlefield type games where you can sort of be a bit more casual, but the, the thing about those kind of games is that all of them just spam DLC content and shit. And then they just come out with another one. I mean, I used to love Call of Duty 4 back in the day, but, um... Now, after a couple of those, you get the idea. So they're going to release it, they're going to spam up the DLC, they're going to make you pay little micro-charges for every map pack that everyone's got to have by mandatory default. Hate that shit. So I don't bother with those. This is Edge of the City. Earth again, and Control Central, Central Command have sent you to the outskirts of the sea that is the demon stronghold. Genomic forces are too powerful to fight your way through, but Command believes that there may be a way through via the old underground train system. All you need to do is find one of the train stations and get into it. Alright, well that'll be easy, won't it? I'll just do that then. I mean, really looking out of the time I have now, I buckle down for the next hour and a half. Our poison still finishes the go. Alright, wow, I'm so I'm so efficient with that SSG. It's crazy. Uh, basically, I just have to upset that, you know, my... Uh, my past days of being able to live stream all the time and play Gears of War for four hours. Oh, gone. It's one of the things that really sucks about being an adult. <laughs> Is you have to learn this great, fantastic concept called time management. You know? And it really sucks tough to, like... Adjust to that, you know, you gotta start going like, I can't just play games. All the time, I have to prioritize which ones I have, you know, the time for. talk after myself. Yes, the pet will just complicate things. This definitely has a TVR vibe to it. You know, but with a more vanilla style to everything, whether things like vanilla textures and shit. Yeah, like the strong discipline required for you to do what you did in 2017 on the time, I suppose. Absolutely, you know, like, um... Oh, crap. Am I gonna... Oh. Fidgeting. Oh. Yeah, what can you get? Yeah, like, you know, the main thing I want to... <laughs> For what? Why is the bloody point? Alright. Another rad suit. Am I missing something here? Hmm. 
Hey, Mishizu. Don't come and get run out the top there, that's pretty cool. So I know what I'm doing here. Okay, eventually I will get to Hell with Eel 2, alright? It will happen. I mean, it's on the request list, I can't exactly ignore it. Oh, that's good. Body Rust 3 got a map. So, the trilogy will soon be upon. There's the trilogy of some... F you know, Jaws, it's not too late for you to change your request, by the way. You can change your request like the Muse did and a few others. You know, so you ever get the urge to suddenly not torture me for 20 hours and you want me to have fun and... Oh, I see. You know, if you want to say, hey, maybe our... Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe our request buddy Rust Trilogy. Yeah, that'd be nice. Ah, oh, shit. I'm just trying to that freaking uh, house with the rat suit was. Because now I could kind of use it. Oh, here we go. Alright. Kick. Yeah, yeah, come on. Get to the... Oh, no, that's not it. Fuck. Um, ah, here we go. Poison. Go. Your request was a... One of your maps, I think. Water treatment? No, a map called water treatment. One. I'm just dig it up for you, Pinchy. Yeah, you requested water treatment plant, which I think was by either yourself or somebody else. Oh, that's convenient. Oh, hi, man. Oh, nice of you to show up. Oh, we've already got the secret, so it's just a case of finding that arm. NJ map. Four poly speed maps, not yours. Ugh. So that was Edge of the City. Very nice little building, I guess. But yeah, you, you could change yours too if you wanted, Pinchy, if you want to. Anyone can change their request as long as they've made one in the first place. Hint, hint. <laughs> Alright, this is... The Underground. The underground evidently wasn't as secure as command believed. Still, it does offer you a way, fast way to the center of the city. Well, that's always a bonus, I guess. Oh shit. Oh dear me. Oh my. 
You've been sat here on your chair with your eyes closed. Oh god, fuzz. Your day has been on an hour of sleep. Fuzzbo, you need to possibly seriously go to bed. <laughs> No, fuzzball. Bed. Now. Go to bed. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm your dad. Now go to bed. Ooh. Now that's a pricey secret. The secret of the... Backpack. Now I can carry twice the amount of guns. Oh. Ammo. Oh, yeah, you woke up. I'm still here, sadly. <laughs> Okay, how's the map? Very nice. Very quick underground rail section. These are very simply. That's a bad dream, you and my dad. Dreams within dreams. I'm still your father. I'm very disappointed in you. Also, jo also in this, although this is definitely a dream, because in this version, Jaws in Space requests something else other than Hell with Evil 2. So this is definitely a freaking dream. <laughs> On to the next map. This is City Hall. Jaws made a map called City Hall once. Very weird. Was it called City Hall? Something in the Monaco Mapping Project. I'm sure it was called Something Hall. Right, that's it. Out! You're clearly tired as well, Jaws. Go to bed. Wake me up when you come with less silly suggestions. Now, you did make a map for Monaco Mapping Project called City Hall. I'm sure of it, Jaws. One of your seven map... Oh, Town Hall. Okay. Not quite as glamorous, then. The dynamic forces appear to be based work of what used to be the city hall. Perhaps if you can eradicate them here, the danger will be over. What's this? A newly installed teleporter! So what? Spoilers, there will be teleporters in this. Oh no. Rats chewing off the pigeons. Cause I'm double in the red and the building's condemned You're gonna help me buy City Hall We can You know we can We can You know we can Let's switch the landlord man Oh, he fell off. Good for him. Ah, yes, the map with the imp pyramid. Yeah, it was glorious. The good old days. Back when I pronounced your name with a bit of a flourish every time I did the seven streams. I remember it fondly. 
You had a great name for announcing stuff. Glorious. I was like, ah yes, here's map five with Jaws in space. This was before I ever met Jaws in space. But you used to make YouTube comments on my bars. Was cool back then. Back in the early days when I was just a scrub. Now I'm just only on doing just YouTube wet plays instead of Twitch stuff that I do now. Now if I probably stop talking and doing commentary, I could probably beat these maps for the next hour. Actually happening, so. Oh. Okay. You enemies to go. Oh no, not a bio! No! Shit! No! No, 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 no! Missed two enemies somewhere. I mean, I can see an exit, but. I can see an exit, but I ain't going through it just yet. I need to find where these other two enemies are at. That was fast. Jeez. Where's those other two enemies at? Found them. Yeah, got them. Awesome. So quick. I really want to know how old Capellan was when he made these maps now. This is like something you'd expect out of, I don't know, someone just turned 18 or something. This feels like the map is, this feels like a bunch of maps made by someone who was probably somewhere around 18 to 22, like a very young mapper. It's so weird to think that he made great, he made maps for like, Hmm. You know, he made maps for like the most high quality projects of the time and then in 2000 he decided to just make a very brief bunch of mini maps basically. It just feels like a just a, an, an, an odd an odd shift I would say if nothing else. Also, it's time for D-running. Only 15 enemies on this one? Okay. This is the proving ground. Looks like the demons left a baited trap for you. Time to show them that whatever they throw at you, you go what it takes. I better find the secret map here as well. That is a cyber demon. Oh boy. A cyber demon. That's not good. You have to save mid level here. Has he ever made a large map? Um, well, he made a map in Memento Mori 2. He made a map. He made several maps in Requiem. He made a map in Strain. I think I've played a... I seem to recall I've played a Capella map that was kind of big. But I can't remember what it was. 
It'd be really kind of interesting, actually, if he was in the chat right now. Oh, perhaps you're right. Perhaps he only just does small maps then. Perhaps it's, perhaps that's just kind of a thing of his. Oh man, that baited trap that was. I was bloody frightened for a moment. Okay, I need to find the secret exit now. Because there are 32 maps in this, so therefore, a secret exit. I think it's on the cards. Wait, what? I am not seeing this. What the fuck? His Doom 2 in name only map is small too. Oh, perhaps that's just what he prefers to do. Okay, this is another weird quirk. First the auto map on the first map to have the entire base revealed, and now the secret map is just given to you by default. Yeah. I should have not. If I'd read ahead in the text, I'd have seen that, but what? So, apparently, this, he just didn't want the player to go looking for secrets. He just dumps them into map 31. I'm sure I've played a large Capella map. At least something sizable. Someone could summon him, that would be useful. Well, anyway, this is... Level 31, White Magic. With a K. So it's like M-A-G-I-C-K. -A Some sort of base looks very deserted, let's see what he can scrounge up. Nah, that's Wolf inside me, this is so interesting. Oh, I get it. <laughs> White magic. So in other words, you mean mega speed, right? There is a very strange charm to these maps. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Feels like we're seeing the works of a great mapper doing very amateurish sort of things. It's the question actually. Has Adam Windsor actually released anything else? Uh, on his own? Or is this the only thing he's ever done by himself? It's just time to become the buddy Adam, Adam, Adam Windsor buddy detective series. The stream where you can talk, the stream where I hang over quests and start talking about personal shit and also delving into the background story of Adam Windsor's life. Who are you and what have you done? You're yourself. I don't think that's going to end that well. Nice to Oh man, the Mega Spit, I mean the White Magic is now available. Once if I pick it up. Oh man. I lost 5% of my magic. I am no longer a magician. There's a secret somewhere. Ah, I found you. See yourself found secret. So I guess we're just going to be skipping straight to map 32 now after this white magic, huh? White magic mega sphere. Okay. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> Sure. Yep, straight to map 32 we go. 
<laughs> uh, congratulations, you found the super secret level. Yeah. It was mandatory. Mandi <laughs> what the freak? The same start. Although this is called black magic, maybe that's why. For a moment it looks like you're back where you were. You should have known that was too good to be true, shouldn't you? Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh wow, I got lucky with the knockoff. Oh, I get it. It's a harder version of the same map. I see. Mmm. 32 shades of magic. Oh, I'm busting out all. Yep, he just made a, a harder version of the same map. Maybe it's these weird mapping quirks that are perhaps adding to the charm of this. It's like what would deem to just be a very average mini set may contain a little bit more than you think. I don't even know why he was firing at the something. Andy Menz wasn't around to see this. This is his request, after all. <laughs> the cat guard wants us to shoot back at them. The last enemy. Just before I was about to say this map has a secret, I find it by complete luck. Again. Okay. Well, that was black magic. The sequel to white magic. Wasn't that fun? I wonder if there's a jade magic coming up. Nah, this is the lesser temple. You've no idea where on earth you are, if Earth this is actually is. Looks like some sort of dynamic fortress ahead though. Maybe you can ask them for directions. Hey, any directions? Oh fuck your directions then. Follow the trail of bullets. What kind of directions that? Gr ungrateful locals. Tis tisk. Shit. ways to put a key, don't you think? Okay, that sound is kind of... Oh wait, that's a secret, is it? 
I was about to say it feels a bit out of place having that switch there, but... Oh, the map's already over. <laughs> Just as we get going in the map, it's over already. It's done. The map has deceased and struggled to exist. That's right, seriously the end of the map already. Oh damn. I can't. And that's it. Map's over. It's gonna all go on. Secret armor again. He is loving putting armor in these secret spots, isn't he? That's for sure. Well, that was a nice small temple. And it ended. That was the first map where I actually noticed it was over when I killed everything. It was like, you know, that sense of like, is that it? The good? <laughs> okay, this is Chamber of Horrors. This is like some sort of sick trophy room for the demons. Maybe you and your shotgun can witter the place with a few of their kind in return. Ooh, a trophy room. Oh man, a trophy room of human. Okay, that's a nice bit of decorated. A circle of things. I chose poorly. Very poorly, in fact. It's the kind of death I'd suffer on Iron Man for being too casual about something. Oh, this one is too easy, is it, huh? Splat. Now you get murdered. Teach you to call my what easy. Hey, it wasn't good. Oh my god. Yes, I think I would like to go back up there now. Working around there, eh? Yeah. Oh no. Two secrets. Am I going to be able to find either of them? Let's see. Well, there's nothing stopping you, Fuzzball. You've already shown with that really odd uh, 
Matt, you did once for me. It was all brick shapes that you capable of making some. Small, quirky maps, so perhaps you could just do the same again. Yeah, small maps like this I would probably enjoy doing too if I had time. Hmm. Nice decoration around those portals, by the way. Shit, where is this bloody... Second secret, if I can find it. Oh, I can't find the second one. Oh well, whatever. I tend to do them for ass maps, really. Well, just make a bunch of ass maps, slap them together and put a storyline to it. You know? Fuzzballs fuzzies. And you could have a picture of a giraffe. Oh yeah, I know the exact picture you could have, Fuzzball. I know the exact picture you could have for your... Uh... <laughs> I know the exact picture that you could have. Hmm, where is it? Ah, uh, yes, let me just quickly bust out a display device. I mean, maybe I should just show the picture, actually. So if I add image... <laughs> and just find it. Where is it? There we go. There, that's it, huh? There. Oh, I need to shrink it a bit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I need to shrink it. <laughs> there, you just need to a modified picture. But there it is. <laughs> that is... That could be the title picture. <laughs> you just need to put something else in instead of the text that's here. Obviously, you need to change the text, but you could have something different. You know, it'd be it'd be as good as the dog. <laughs> <Talk about it. laughs> you know what? What was it called? Um, not concerned. Um, dog. Fuck. A cannibal ward. One I kind of liked. All right, I'm gonna remove the picture now. You get the gist. Uh, draft excluder. That's the one. Draft excluder. Thank you. Just remember it just now for some weird reason. Wow, I've been shooting for two hours and I'm more than halfway through. Cool. All right, next map. This is the Infernal Garden. You're pretty sure this is Earth. A twisted, perverted part of it, but Earth nonetheless. You must be getting closer to the demon's main stronghold on this side of the gateway. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Another hour, I'll play out this what finish. Unless something really weird happens. Yeah, that's all you need then, Fuzz. There you go. Then all you need is a catchy name for it, and the rest will follow suit. I don't know what we'd call it. We'd call it, though. It's not why. <laughs> the Giraffe Speed Mapping Project. Back on hiatus again. Oh yeah, mayhem happened with the purple and orange version. Now that's just devious. Oh, that's even more fucking devious. Crap. Whoa, what the hell? What the fuck? Okay, talk about fucking... Not appreciate that. 
I'm going to actually have to save mid-map now, so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen next. Oh, never mind. I guess I will. Oh, I have to. I was worrying for nothing. Oh, no secret there, huh? I guess we're in the queer. Shame there's no armor I can snap up. Nope. Devious arch vows are devious. I was one set of guns I won't be going back to anytime soon. What a fire. The city again, but a part of it that is several feet deep in lava. You wipe sweat away from your face. Even the demon seems to be suffering in this heat. Maybe if you can find an environment suit, that'll give you the edge on them. Yeah, those demons were really suffering. <laughs> oh well, Ahmed. You just came, huh? Okay. Look! Chain gunners! I can snipe underneath the door like a little... I was convinced I found a secret, man. But not to be. Show up again. You know you wanna. We dead. Shit. Um, this is gonna be awkward. Okay, run, 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 run. Ah, can I actually get onto that though? They're just gonna tease me forever. Oh wow, that is actually the twenty percent. He's not messing around. Oh, that's a nice little detail. How you doing anyway, Alman? Time goes you evening. Oh god, are you gonna be an arch vial or something? No, it's a bad The lesser intimidating bad. Oh, I didn't want for secrets. Well, whatever. I'm not looking for secrets in a fiery cityscape. Forget that. So you are a spiry happy Ahmed. Good, I'm glad you are. Very good. This is Demon Fear. It's full of very brief maps. I'll probably be finishing it in the next hour unless there's a really ridiculous shift difficulty. This is the Greater Temple. This is it. The center of dynamic power on Earth. Somewhere beyond or within this monstrous building stands the gateway through which these monsters come to our planet. Well, this is it. This is how they get here. They come through this great temple.
pop your quarks, will you? Gentlemen. So what kind of stuff have you been playing recently then, Ahmed, as you were confused after of the, uh, the slaughter variety? Mm. Rush and Sparta 2. Oh, have you been doing the Iron Man? How did you do? It must have been fun doing the Iron Man. Oh, that's kind of cool. So all the things show the scores of this website. The switch has been done. Find those keys then, I guess. Failed at map seven. Uh -oh. That's not good. I'm actually glad that all the doors are now open now. Yeah, I can open it now. All those pesky revenants have been dealt with. Did you then continue on Herbie Puente and uh... Hey, not too rough afterwards, Ahmed? Oh no, why did I pick that up? Idiot. All you want to know is it just prefers to do the one run on the one difficulty and that's it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Some people chose to do that. They chose to just do it on one difficulty and then call out the run. I want me one of those. Um, I need to... 
Wow, I, just, I like the idea of the one credit rule, to be honest. It's as Alfonso said when he did it for um, Combat Shot 2, it's, it's uh, a way for people to experience what's So they're a little tougher, you can give them a chance to at least try some of the different settings. Oh my god, that is a massive thing there. Oh shit, it's not enemy to go. Ah, oh, it's probably shut in the secret of it. Seek the wise health. Yeah, it's probably hidden in the one secret of the map. Alright. What is Sparta 2 then? Well, that was actually quite a lengthy map. <laughs> I have never played in any difficulty settings other than Ultra Balance in my entire Doom life, at least to which I recall. Well, as long as you can handle Ultra Violence all the time. You probably can. I've had to I've had to reconsider that philosophy since Sun Lost. And Alfonso's well-made post in that matter. This is the gateway. This is some sort of waypoint between Earth and the source of these creatures. Some of the tough bastards are around here. Still, if you use head, you can take immediately enough. Alright. I'm ready to take it. I'm in the fireplace, but... Huh. Go figure. One thing about Capel, and he sure shoves his arch files in some rather nasty spots when he wants to. Certainly not afraid to uh, stick some rather more devious encounters when he wants to, that's for sure. Try Sparta 2. Ah, uh, from no secret. Couldn't find a secret on this one. Oh well. I'm starting to get a bit ahead of steam here. What is Sparta 2 then, Almond? I have a request list to do, but I am curious to. I'm gonna guess by the name, it's probably some kind of gladiatorial slaughter first. I like the name of this map. Unquiet Spirits. The chainsaw carves into the unsuspecting zombie's back. You scoop up his shotgun and blast a nearby trooper. He moans and goes down. You grin and step left to get a shot at another trooper. There's a green flash over the first. No, not really. Alright. Oh! That's 
kind of cool. Huh. It's very like basic stuff, but neat little visual execution there. From the whole thing. They are map sets which consist of some unique gameplay, including sort of maps and normal maps. Alright, got my intent. Oh, I guess so all of them are gonna have a lost soul popping out of them. Very cute. That's not a secret. Do you have a, a wink man on it? Oh, right. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm gonna play, I'm just kinda curious to see who made it. Saving his finest ideas for the last ten maps, perhaps. Oh dear. Wow, I'm terrible. Oh, I'll change it. Yeah, I saw you in there. Not a pain sector. Also, not a pain sector. I like that it's not a pain sector. Hmm. Cannonball. Yeah, I... Damn it, there is a secret here, I know it. Oh, no, I'll just activate something. That was a secret. Seriously. <laughs> Alright then. Whatever. <laughs> that was a secret, apparently. The one thing that opened. 90s mapping. Say it's not, it's 2000. Okay, 2000. <laughs> sure. Well, from what you describe of it, it sounds like something Cannonball would make, to be honest, on it. This is Abandoned Hope. Zombies with pistols, zombies with shotguns. This is little weak stuff, but they just keep coming, wearing you down. You can't help but get nervous. Why something really nasty shows up? Oh, then I'll just kill them too. I have no fear. Stop the pistol. So 
So all these pistol zombies are just the, like, a very sort of beat. It's like a the front line of cannon for the, for the real nastiness to come, which is these bastards. Ow! Jesus! Whoa, 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 whoa! Excuse me. Boom. Gentle breeze has been interrupted by well this. <laughs> what was the Baron doing just then? Oh, why did I pick that up? Stupid me. What am I doing? It was dancing! Hey, Dimitri, how's it going? It certainly was dancing. I might dance a little longer, actually. Hmm. It's a nice chair. Okay, what switch have I not pressed? to save here. Christ. Things got difficult in a hurry. I want the red key. Damn it. Where on place am I going to? It's going well to your school today with Mr. Simon in Soviet Clockwise though, so yay, more calculus. Oh, maths, huh? Shit, what am I doing? Um, no, that's not a solution. Oh, Abandon the hope of figuring out what I'm supposed to do. This freaking map. Where am I going? There's still like 30 enemies to go, and I can't figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Are you quite good at calculus, or is it something you struggle with? Shit, I, I don't actually know what, what, what. I know that's the thing I need, but how do I get it down? Oh, God. What is this nonsense? Can you? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know where to go. I might make the flow of the fast maps now, Capellan. We're like 23 in. Oh, 25, technically. And now you decide to. Oh, oh, fuck! I don't know where to go. I'm I'm stuck. Help somebody. I don't know what to do. Does anyone? I think we need the resident demon fear expert. I don't know what the. Oh, okay. I guess that's what I need to do. Oh. 
Not the most obvious staircase in the world, but whatever. Well, now I just feel stupid. I uh, can't figure out I need to do that. Ooh. Well, that was a hard map. Abandoned Hulb indeed. The Scourging. You duck behind the doors and miss our howls past you. Hopping back out, you catch a chamber zombie with a blast from your shotgun. You burst in a crimson spray of gore. Plasma bursts begin to work their way along the wall towards you and you duck back into cover. Okay. Oh god, I can see the... Yeah, it was worth it. Just to take down that one. Have to work tomorrow, eh? Well, okay. He's at the wall. Thanks, guys. Please. Oh, God. Please. Yeah, I gotta go back to work in next week too. Even four. Why not? Can't get enough of those revenants. Except when you can get enough of those revenants. So really annoying. <laughs> you know, for a set there, I almost thought that was going to be considered a secret or something. But instead, it's this one. Which is, well. And the secrets in this set are also a bit weird at times too. Some very basic stuff. But, you know, and I've said before with um, like the likes of TVR and Petition Skate, sometimes it really is nice just to sit down with a mega ward that you can just beat in a couple of hours. You know, short bursts, short maps, whoosh, whoosh, bam, bam, pace. Instead of the all over the place pacing that sometimes occurs with a lot of mega wards, it really is just nice to go, ah, I can beat this in three or four hours, I'm done, and I can enjoy the rush. It's kind of gameplay I like. This is Metal Hell. You always wondered where those cybernetic demon kind of came from. Now you wish you didn't know. Hmm, the race is on. Can I get this done before half ten so I can nip out to have a drink? Or will there be some evil twist in the tale? Only my skill and the speed at which I can commentate will dictate the answers. 
Surely nothing can go wrong here. Nothing. Nothing. I'm guessing you're not a fan of calculus then, to mention Eric. Although she just got that engrossed in some, but you didn't respond to my area question. Thanks, Dor. Yep. Just for that, no Christmas card. Are you white, Dor? Oh. No, I was just saying, are you going to go to calculus? Oh, shit. That's a mastermind. That is scary. I am terrified. I, don't, I, I cannot stand before the spider demon like this. It's just embarrassing, man. Huh? You know, I can, I cannot. It's terrifying. It's frightening. I'm scared. I'm creeped. These Kekka demons can finish her off for me. I don't look for stuff. Just decides to wake up suddenly. It's always a possibility. As I said, I'm scared. Oh, this is what the episode was. Nice. I'm scared. I'm petrified. No, leave me alone. Oh, please, God, no. Oh, God, no. Calc sucks. That's why I'm failing it. Oh, right. Okay, that is a little more terrifying. I will admit that right now. I think we will use the plasma. Hang on a second. What the hell are you guys doing? Can you not interrupt our duel? Thanks. So anyway. With seven bullets to spare. Hmm. Okay, guys. You've had your moment. Please, dishwash. Go away. Is that everything? Not quite. There's one enemy remaining on the level. What could it be? It's a spider. A spider. That was creepy. Wasn't expecting that. Well, at least uh, that was actually surprising we were all jarring there. Is your wife any good at calculus? Oh, nice level. Spider Mastermind was a decent, about as decent a spot you can get. This is Detour. There was some sort of malfunction with that last teleport. You're not sure where you are now, but it seems like an out-of-the-way corner of hell. It's awful quiet. Still, it ain't likely to stay that way. No, you're probably right. It's probably gonna get very noisy in a minute. <laughs> I wonder if pistols starting to be perhaps make this a bit more interesting. even got the guy at the back with the spread. Very nice. Mm. 
No, wait, wait, she is in RN, so she, so she needs map, but not RN. Oh, it's found one secret. No, the girl saying I don't want to. That would be a filthy, filthy lie. Oh my god, this guy could be able to. Damn it, there's too many, I can't grab the gear. You stinking... Oh, I could have grabbed it after all. Never mind. Yeah, whatever. Alright. <laughs> that was almost over. No! Free revenants! I quit! Uninstall game! Uninstall! I can't take it! Fuck this! Oh. Hmm, there's two other secrets. Can I find any more? Do I want to find any more? Yeah, I'll take the exit. What's an R in anyway? Ah, nice map. This is Hell's Paradigm. Par Paradigm. A more central part of Hell now. You must be drawing close to the heart of the demon infestation now. Only a few more challenges to overcome. Still, you can be sure that the forces of Hell aren't finished yet. Oh, registered nurse, right. Awesome, that's pretty cool, man. Okay. This is a nice scenic detail room. That's a cool window. Just gonna throw it out there. Shit, I'm a bit worried now. I've triggered something rather arch vilely. Oh no, never mind. You know, there's lots of nice little details coming out of what occasionally and some of the stuff's kind of basic -y stuff but there is some finer detailing that on display here. She's going to finish off a bachelor of science in this one we can have point on to Oh nice dude. Oh shit, no 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 Get the No not fucking saving the game I don't Thank 
you. Oh, Jesus. Holy. Need some luck here. Holy fuck. Fucking compelling. Bloody vials. Every single one of them. Like, all the other stuff's not too hard to deal with, but... but good grief, the vial placements on this map set. I swear they've been the biggest threat. Everything else is relatively manageable by comparison, but at least it's a vial to with some steps or something. And it's like, bam! I'm gonna up the ante, fucker. I got ridiculously lucky there as well to not be killed by that. You're gonna go work mode and cook down. Alright. I feel more s Oh, I'm not gonna Hello. I'm not, I'm not gonna waste my time with those games. Screw that. Just a reminder that this guy programmed for harder encounters every now and then, I guess. This is the fire pits. Typical. Looks like the father of sin was in a region surrounded by lava pits. This is gonna be hot work, but once you'll be knocking but once through, you'll be knocking on old Nick's front door. Okay, near the end. Wow, a one stream mega board. Not done that for a long time. Blast him, George! Blast him! We had seen this texture here, though, that being said. Actually, getting some uh, plasma ammo. Kind of. Oh my god. Eight barons! Ah, 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 ah. Eight barons! Scary, terrifying Baron! Oh no! Make it stop! Please, I can't take it. Oh, I'm serious, actually. <laughs> am, I just, am I supposed to run across the pit here? Or? Um, I guess I am. What a f Rocket for every Baron I had to waste it on. Times a few more. Ugh. Oh, what the hell? 
Now that's just evil. Sticking that friggin' crusher there in what is a typical... It would explain why the barons weren't going past a certain point, though. But, jeez. How dickish. Also, you spam way too many barons. That was ridiculously tedious. Okay, this is Fortress Hades. The Hellspawn have thrown one last barrier in your way. A heavily fortified bastion packed with dynamic forces lies before you. They won't go down easy, but you do intend to make damn certain they do go down. Well, you have me at one disadvantage here. I have no fucking health. It's a little harder than expected. A few seconds, maybe. Well, I'm going to have to be careful, I think. Go a health situation. Find a health form, shall be fine. Oh, yeah, the BFG has appeared. The end is nigh. Oh, Alright, that's more than enough help to cover. Good thing this is not one of those super hard ones. to worry about, you know, critical damage right now. Oh, hell? Okay. Don't have any time, buddy. Very simplistically acquired BFG. If, I don't thought it might have been a bit of a build up for that. Build up? I don't have time for that. I need to get back to doing just whatever it is that I do. Sight of a cyber demon. Oh boy. Time to save scum. Maybe I don't even have to fight this guy. Don't, don't fill with the moon for it if I can get away with it. Something tells me this is a skippable fight. And I think I will opt to do that because it just seems like a really tedious waste of time. Otherwise. Oh, I'll just go for the skip option. Whatever. Oh, there's a water vesty fucking chain gunners. Really? Lots and lots of chains. Ok, 
Okay, I guess it's not that skippable because you can go through the teleporter as well. Alright. This is the 2000s. Welcome to Two Shots. Which I forgot I had in my arsenal there. Right. And through the portal we go. Am I being attacked all the way here? Shit, I'm going to increase it. Wait, spam every chain gun you got. Made every chain gun you got. Screw off. Oh, you can go in these areas. Nice. Oh, oh. Okay, that one out at least. Jeez. Ugh. Oh, had to get in my way, didn't you? I had to get in my way. All I'm trying to do is pop up one chamber. Just Waste of time. In fact, going back there was an entire waste of time. That really was a waste of time back there, wasn't it? Holy crap! So we put in. He had enemies spawn right at the back, even though you don't have to go back there again. That is just weird. Maybe we should have a vial in here next. Oh, it didn't. Okay. What a strange quirk on that map. He had all the enemies come out, and then there's a group way at the back. Like, you can go all the way back to this area where you pick up the orange key, and there's like an arch vial, and there's more enemies there, but you don't actually have to go that way. It's like he included too many teleport encounters and forgot the player may not... <laughs> Unless he expected the player to go back there for a check or something. Ah, yes, indeed. GG bemused. They will be after this map. Demon Fear. This is it. The heart of hell itself. You know you can do this. You have before. You just hope that this time the demons won't be back. Okay. This is it. All we gotta do is... Okay. <laughs> oh, no. This looks fun. Of course, it's my god, cinema. I wasn't expecting anything in the West, to be honest. But, whatever. Do what we want. Right, now uh, what's the trick with this one? Alright, okay. Simple enough trick, it seems. Well, that was easy. <laughs> yes, I did it! 
First time. Well done. You made a good icon of sin map. You actually did. That was very simplistic. And I like the simple ones. Oh, thank you, Shredding Splinters. Also, hi. <laughs> I do. I, I seriously do. I like icon of sin maps when they are simple like that, you know. You can make the map up to that point as complicated as you like, but once I get to the icon of sin fight, which is horrendously out terrible, just have me do a simple thing, and that's what I liked about that. It was simplistic. Good job. And generic Doom 2 ending text. Alright, that was Demon Fear by Capellan. A one stream megawatt. Requested by MD Menzel or Mike Menzel. Let's go by. What do you all think of it? You could also call that word a look back into the archives of Capellan. Solo project ambition. A very interesting experience, I think, overall, I would have to say. Ugh. Definitely, uh, it felt there was a strange charm to it. It was, thank you, Mr. Zool. It was very um, basic in some respects, but then there was the occasional intriguing creative elements like the fact the first map has a has a the entire map revealed from the beginning with a story explanation the fact that there was um some encounters in there that were pretty tricky but the rest of it was just kind of basic first stuff the detailing of the maps and the odd technical lift or trick here and there it just Felt like I don't know when did Petition's Gate come out. Petition's Gate came out in late nineties. It felt like to me that he wanted to make something similar to the lines of Petition's Gate. You know, very brief burst of maps. The one map, the one street. Oh, I suppose a mega one you could beat in a few hours instead of like take a while. I mean, if I had to compare that to anything else, it it was like a less custom textured imbued TVR for those who remember my TVR playthrough uh, Thomas van der Velden's Revolution which was pretty good and also took one stream took a bit home it had that kind of feel to it you know go for the level the one stream megawatt and I, I can't I enjoyed most of that He and he put in just enough difficulty on occasion to prevent you from falling asleep entirely I would say so, yeah, fun stuff. I didn't, I didn't actually know it was going to be that short when I saw it. I had no idea what to expect, to be honest. I'm going to thank some workers now before I head off to the pub. So, thank you to Burzel, Commander Root, Dwarz Malut, the bot that is Electrical Skateboard, Evil Bite, Gunhog 666, Ionic Axiom, Ward Sergeant, Maktar, uh... Reaper, the serious cacodemon, shout gamers. They all shout? I could be a shout gamer. <laughs> a soundproof moon, maybe. Shredding. Who is just spoke to me right now? Why am I saying? Well, thanks anyway. Uh, Tourniquet and Wombat, and everyone else who spoke. You missed most of it, like the last map. Well, it's uh, some brief stuff. Brief stuff. I thought I would have finished this a bit sooner, but I had to take care of some personal things at one point, so... If you like hearing me admit that I'm an, an asshole rager, <laughs> you get that in this too. And thank you to Waze and Malut. So! <laughs> I neglect my request list for about a month, and I come back and chalk one off in three hours. All in a day's work. Isn't that great? I don't know what I'm going to play next, to be honest. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to have to look through my request list and see what I want to do. I think I will delve into the request list once again. I might do a single map actually next time, perhaps. Or I might do a Mega Ward. I'll have to see how I feel. No, Jaws, I'm not playing Hell Reveal 2. Hell Reveal 2 is being saved for a bit. To give you time to reconsider your life choices. And your Doom Ward choices. <laughs> you're, you're going to make me suffer by playing Hell Reveal 2. I'm going to make you suffer by waiting. Making you wait for me playing Hell Reveal 2. In the vain hope that one day you'll just finish the Bloody Rush trilogy and you'll declare that to be the new pick, and then I'll immediately play it that very moment. Also because Hell Reveal 2 is going to be awful, and you damn well know it. You're just there for the suffering, which is the exact reason you picked it, as you said as such when you picked it. Fucking shark in space. That's what I get for trusting in a space-bound shark. Right, I'm off to the pub to drink and celebrate my success of beating this in three hours. Have a good evening, everybody. Peace out.